Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a set of six small bean bags. Now these bean bags are designed to be as a kid's toy and to be used in a variety of games. I've also made a video on different ways to play with bean bags with your toddler and I will link that down below and also at the end of the video. My name is Danielle. I have a toddler who is currently 18 months old. There are so many activities that toddlers can do with little bean bags, so today I thought I'd show you how to make them yourself. It's a very simple DIY project, it doesn't take much time, and if you use scrap material, it doesn't cost very much at all. Now I found that six is a great number, especially if you do sets of two, so two in each colour, so two, two, and two. That means that uh, there's enough for different games as well as matching activities. So let's get into it. Let's talk about materials first. You will need a pencil, ruler, and scissors, as well as some cardboard to make your original stencil. And you'll also need three different colours of cloth. I have used scraps, so I've used a dress and two different shirts. I do find that thicker material does work better for bean bags. Anything that's really thin or stretchy, I would avoid. So get sort of more canvassy, thicker style. You'll need a sewing machine and thread. Now you could hand stitch these, it will just take quite a bit longer. You'll also need some pins and some thread that matches the material to close the gap at the end. To fill the bean bags, I've used rice. I really like the feel of rice, but you could also use wheat or barley or lentils or beans. And lastly, scales. These are optional, but I really like to measure out my grains so that they weigh the same, and which means that each bean bag is evenly weighted, which makes them a lot easier for things like juggling and throwing. So let's talk sizing and also making your template. So these are my template here. I recommend having quite thick cardboard. It makes it a lot easier when you are putting it on the cloth to draw around. I really like 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres for the bean bags. I found they're a really good toddler size. Um, that is 4 inch by 4 inch. So now let's get into making our bean bags. First up, I do recommend ironing your material if it's a bit crinkly. Then use your stencil to mark out squares on your fabric. You will need four squares of each colour if you're doing um, sets of 2 2 2. Then you need to pin your material squares together. Put the nice side of your fabric, the one that you don't want to face out, put that facing in to begin with. Now you can sew around your squares. Make sure you leave about a three centimetre gap. We'll use this to turn the material the right way around. your squares inside out and you should have the good side of the material now facing outwards. I do find it really helpful to use a pencil to poke out the corners. Now it's time to fill your bean bags. If you have a funnel it will be very helpful. I just use a spoon. I like to use 100 grams of rice in each. I found this weight is really good for juggling and also just for carrying around. And I also really like to have the exact same amount in each one. Now you can fold in the edges and use a pin and then hand stitch the gap closed. I like to use a blanket stitch but you could use any stitch here. So here we have our six finished bean bags. They are now ready to be used by my toddler and thrown about the house. I've made another video of different ways that your toddler can play with your bean bag, so there's lots of activities there and lots of ideas for you. I will link that um, in the description below and also at the end of this video so you can check that out as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and also you can have a look at my other videos for more toddler activities. Bye.